Hi, my name is Christopher from Martinez Medical Systems. In this video, I will talk about what relative change means and how you can set a so-called baseline or reference point in Oxyso. It is not uncommon that we get asked why an oxy or deoxy value is quote so high or why it takes on a negative value. The reason oxy or deoxy concentration values behave like this is because continuous wave nearest devices measures relative changes in oxy and deoxyhemoglobin. So what you measure only makes sense in relation to some point of reference. For example, if you get a very high value, it could mean that there is just a large offset somewhere in the recording due to adjusting an optode or putting on or off the head cap with the device in it. If you get a negative value, it simply means that oxy decreased relative to the point of reference. The fact that we're working with a relative measure is exactly the reason why we use a so-called baseline period when calculating a block average. In the example you see in front of you, which is a block average of multiple finger tapping trials, finger tapping was on set at the blue event, and here we have set the baseline to the 10 seconds preceding the event for each trial. And as you can see, it's centered on zero here, and any signal change is relative to this zero. So it's easy to make out how the signal changed and how much it changed. For more information on how to set a baseline for a block average, you can see the how to do a block average in Oxysoft video. Setting a new zero point or reference point can also be useful when viewing data during or after a measurement. Here, I have started a measurement, but I have not yet put the device on my head. As you will see, once I put it on, there is a large artifact in the signal and the signal will also be offset by a large amount. There. A useful function in this case is set all traces in measurement to zero and clear graphs. You can reach this either by right-clicking in a graph, selecting the function or simply by pressing F6 on the keyboard. This function sets the current sample to zero, so it is easy to make up this if the signal goes up or down. And it will also clear the graph so that the axes are reset, making smaller changes in the signal easier to see. To set a new reference point or zero after a measurement, right click at the time point that you want to set as a reference point, and then select either set all traces in graph to zero or set all traces in measurement to zero. As the name suggests, the form will set the reference point for the graph you clicked on, whereas the second option will set the new reference point for all graphs in the measurement. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. If you have any questions, have a look in the manual or contact us via askforinfo at artinis.com.